I've built a TARDIS model and broke the process down into several different videos. This is the seventh video of the series, so if you want to start from the beginning, then check out my playlist with the full series. If you're watching for just the making of the model, this will be the final video of the process. But if you're watching to see the infinity box effect, I will have another video for that. Now let's move on to the final touches. I didn't record this, but I went over each part and touched up several places with wood filler, sanded it all smooth, then test assembled everything. The test fit looks good, so now I start to disassemble the TARDIS. As I remove the tubing from the light, you can see the wires that I used to hold the roof to the sides. Next I remove the sides, the back, and the doors. Now I take the plastic off of the windows. Now everything is ready to be painted. The four sides, the base, and the roof. Oh, and don't forget to remove the doors from the pillars. I spray painted all of the parts and let them dry. I start by reconnecting the doors to the pillars. You can see that I also painted the hinges. To prevent them from getting stuck from the paint, I made sure to use less paint on them and I kept moving them as the paint dried so that they wouldn't get stuck. It worked out good because now they move just like they did before they were painted. And the magnets are doing a great job of holding the doors shut. Now I put the windows back in the doors and the other sides. For the parts that I'm holding together with the 16 gauge wire pins, I didn't want paint to fill the holes, so I added wires to each of the holes to prevent that. I removed the painted pins from the base, and now I can start putting the sides back into place. Then I can put the roof back on, aligning the pins with their holes. Now I insert the tubing into the light. All that is left is putting on the signs. I did a Google search to find images of the signs, then I printed them out. As it turns out, there have been different designs for the signs that were used on the show. I found some that matched what I'm familiar with, and those are the ones I printed out. After cutting them out, I used double-sided tape to put them on the TARDIS. Glue would also be a good choice for attaching these signs. With it all back together, it looks like it turned out quite well. A few things to keep in mind with this model I built. I'm going to make some changes with it. That is why I built it so that it can be taken apart. I still need to add handles on the doors. If you have any suggestions on how to make the handles, please leave a comment. I designed the light on the top so that an LED can be added to it to light it up. And the biggest change that I'm going to make, I'm going to try to make it look bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Thanks for watching the build.